can't really mess up with art. Art is just kind of how you express yourself and it's an expression of what, you, what you're doing. So you can't really mess it up, you can only build on it. Um, I did this painting about the end of the school year, my senior year at Oak Hill. The art teacher gave us like some freedom on what we wanted to do. I said, well, I wanted to paint for my last project. So, you know, I've been drawing a lot, sculpting, stuff like that. So I just figured I'd just like try out painting. It's my first painting I actually did ever. Oh my gosh, this is your first one ever? Yes, yeah, sure. You set the bar really high. Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. <laughs> like, I just like how the sun like makes the whole painting kind of. Cause it's like, the rest is kind of black. If you look at the trees, it's all black. The background is all black. You know, you still got the, the specs of the stars and stuff like that, but the different coloring and the different shading, the different t um, shades and colors is what made me kind of fall in love with the painting. And I, like, I wanted to build on that. Yeah, I like to draw a lot and I always liked art, but I've never been, you know, too good at painting or really knew how to paint. But, you know, I learned and this is my first um, practice and go around. Yeah, it's interesting that you had all this experience and all this other stuff, and then for your very last project, wanted to try something new. Yeah. Why do you think that was? Probably just my interest in art and just how I am. I just like to try new stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want to see. I wanted to see where I was at, and I see my art teacher. He was really super good at painting, so I just wanted to see where I was at. You know, see if I can build on that. How did it go? Sort of like as you were painting it, you start in the back and work forward. Start at the top and work down. How does it go? For me, I started at the top in the background because I wanted to get the um, the black or the nice sky to be um, kind of finalized, and you know, I wanted to see where the, the sky would meet the um, the sunset. So that's what I really started with. And the last thing that I um, ended with was the trees. You see, it took a lot of detail, a lot of strokes, a lot of. Um, painting to, that went into that. But the, I'll say the most difficult, t most difficult thing was the, the um, sunset. You know, blending the colors, the different um, warm colors like the um, yellows, oranges, and reds. When I was a little kid, I was just like building stuff. I was like hands-on learning. I always liked to draw and things like that. So growing up, I had an art teacher in middle school that I'm real close with. She kind of taught me the basics about art and she was the one that helped me out with my love for art and like kind of taught me about, you know, how to draw, different techniques to use, things like that. You learn a lot in art about um, it being emotion led. It's not really just, you know, just logical. You're not just really thinking a lot. You're just kind of doing you. You know, this is something that BBN definitely doesn't know about you, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything's um, to athletes is not just about the sport they play. You know, it's much more to, to us about who we are and what we like to do. Do you think you'll find ways to incorporate art in general in your life moving forward? Uh, yeah, definitely. I can always draw on my free time and do art on my free time. It's just always going to be something that I do. You know, it's not just basketball that occupies my life, but, you know, the other things that, like, my other hobbies, you know, this will always be a part of it, so I'm really, I'm going like that for sure.